Hello, Sean Wood here. This is Wood in Z. Um, I just want to take you through my OneNote setup for my class. Um, I'm testing this for the new, new first time with um, a one-on-one -on -one program through Microsoft, and I'll be using OneNote to manage the learning, and my students will have OneNote as well. So it's going to be an interesting experience. It all starts on Tuesday. So I first got a OneNote account. You can read through my blog the process we went through. On the left here, you can see that there are three notebooks. Mr. Wood, which is my personal one, which I keep space and no one else can see. This one was just while we're experimenting. I'll probably get rid of it. And the one down here, room 12, is my classroom one. So it has a whole lot of um, tabs up here where you can add things. Um, like let's see, the headings, these tags you'll see I use a lot. Inserts, you can insert all sorts of things here um, and record audio and video. I'll show you some of that later. I use the date timestamp quite a lot for my blog. Um, drawing, this is going to be a really good feature for kids. They can draw directly on anything in here. Um, then there's history, review, view settings. These, this is quite a handy little feature that I think it's going to be good. I'll show you that soon. Learning tools that um, kids need to have, um, and that converts picture, image, text into written text and also reads it and highlights it as go fantastic for reading. And then um, class notebook is the teacher's tool. So you, when you download this as a teacher, you need to download class notebook add-in. It gives you all these controls to manage your classroom. And of course, you need to download learning tools. And so do your students need to have learning tools. So this is my notes page where I've got little um, tick boxes for things that I'm supposed to do. And I can just, I'm doing my blog screencast tour now, so tick that off. Um, and these are all just my thoughts and that um, you can see in this, this is just a little competition I was playing around with, but you can draw directly onto there as well. Um, you can, as you can see, I've started doing some drawings and they'll be helpful for my students and their learning. Um, at, then I've got, so these are notebooks, these are sections, these tabs at the top, and then each section can have as many pages as you create. So this page I've created a blog, it's one big text box and therefore acts like a blog. Um, this is just my space for storing stuff. Um, I've got my planning document links there and some OneNote help should I need it over there. So if we go to room 12, so this will be my class space. Now, this is going to be the page that the students will be able to see all of this. I've put my timetables up um, for the week, links to their different um, bits of information to help their learning, notices. Now, I'm planning on copying these pages here, reading, writing, maths, to each of the students' um, one notes, and I'll show you in a moment, not how, but what, it, why. So this will be on their reading page. They'll be able to see what their walt is, the readings they have to do. If they click on the reading like that, it will actually open up the reading. They can add in their clarifying words here. Um, they can draw or they can highlight on it, and I um, can imagine there will be lots of fantastic ways to use those. Um, let's just go back. So we're in reading. They can also click off as they do their independent reading activities and group ones. They can click off, tick them off, and I'll be able to see that they've done it. Writing, you can see I've used that um, background line page. And again, it's all set up for them. Some links about their writing processes. Um, in maths, they give you grid page paper, which is handy as well. Again, they've got their waltz and what we're going to be doing, follow-ups, and their own activities that they need to do and click off as they've done them. 
So they will all have their own timetable. So for instance, here are all my students up at the top there. Um, they, you set that up when you, when you first set up class notebook. And I set up originally four default tabs here or sections. Now I'm planning on changing them to timetable, reading, writing, maths, Olympics, because that's what um, I'm working with. So they will each have their different folders, reading, writing, maths, Olympics. They'll be able to add as many pages onto there as they want. And I'll be copying these pages, reading, writing, back to, onto their own reading pages as well. Now, a student can see all of this, plus they can see the content library and they can see the collaboration space. Now, the only places they can work on on their own books, I can work on there as well, and they can also work in the collaboration space. This is a shared space anyone in the class can work in and draw in and type in. Um, so we'll use this as our, our learning space, sort of online modeling book. Um, and then I've created pages for reading, writing, these are what we are going to be doing. Hopefully, we'll work directly onto these pages. Um, and then maths. And of course, chapter chat, which we take in part in. So some strategies here. This is more for me. We all work on this board. We can write on it as we go. I can tick off which groups I've seen. Um, I put this in just a, only a moment ago. I'm just going to change to the hand typing tool. Now, you can record, I think I've done something over there, there we go. Um, you can record audio and video directly into um, documents. So record audio, record video, and that records your webcam. That's going to be really handy, I think, for um, when we, let's just, oh, there we go, we'll play that. We are learning to locate and summarize ideas about the Olympic. So that's going to be a handy feature. I imagine I'm going to be using that a lot more for feedback in the future. Um, and I'll just get rid of all that. Okay, and then, of course, collaboration space. Everyone can read, see, and write, and draw, and type in. Content library is that. It's a library. Now, I will... I keep all, I'm keeping all my resources here for reading, writing, maths, uh, some challenges, that sort of thing, all going to be in their groups. Now, they can see this, but they can't edit it or change it in any way. Put some resources in the resource section and a OneNote's help for the students as well. So the content library is a library collaboration spaces where we all share. Students have their own individual pages, but can see collaboration space, content space, and this page here. Uh, let's see if I can take you to see a student view. Um, I will check that next time when I get some students going. Um, so. I've prepared as much as possible for this um, one to one laptop program with HP and Microsoft and NEPW and um, going to test out OneNote and I will keep a blog. I've got my blog up here and I'll let you know how it goes and, and my experiences and I'll get my students' voice as well. And hopefully, if you're looking at using class notes in the future, you'll get something out of my experience. OK. 